Red light of a single wavelength passes through a diffraction grating. Bright dots are formed on the screen as shown. Okay, the red light is replaced with white light. Which diagram shows a possible pattern of bright light on the screen? Hmm. So, red light. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's turn these dots red so we can see them. Okay. So, first things first. Why is white light? White light is all the wavelengths. Basically, all lambdas that you can see in the visible spectrum. So, how does it look like? Well, something like this. Lah. Okay, that's your rainbow colour, I suppose. Wait, let me see if you can get a nice rainbow. Ah, can lah. Okay, so that's rainbow colour. Ah, can I get a nice... Okay, wait. Ah. There we go. Red to purple. Okay, this is your visible spectrum, what you can see. So, if you have all wavelengths add together, then it becomes white. So what is a possible pattern of bright light on the screen? Okay. So you're going to have all the colors. Oh. So the middle line is still what we call the zero order. Otherwise known as the N0. So that's where all the wavelengths will be down here and it's going to be white color. Now the rest though, the different colors may spread out differently. So for example, if we look at the diffraction equation, n lambda is d sine theta. If we have the same diffraction grating, uh, we didn't change it. Okay. Um, then we have, let's say we compare the first order for all the wavelengths. For all wavelengths, you are having two variables here. Lambda depends on angle or rather the angle depends on lambda so from this equation what it really means is the longer wavelength has larger angle they will spread out more if i draw a diagram for example and i say hey look this is red color what's a wavelength ah? wavelength is very long ah. okay red 100 wavelength is 700 nanometers compared to Let's say ultraviolet here, which is somewhere about 400 nanometers. This is short wavelength. Here is a long wavelength. So, very, very long wavelength. So, let's put this here. They say this is the N equals to 1 fringe. The light will spread out. Then we compare this with a short wavelength. Okay, so 400 nanometers come in. It... Mm, it's going to have a shorter wavelength, so smaller angle, so somewhere here. N uh, 1. That's, that's what it means, uh, that's how the light will spread out. So if we have red just now, let's draw a line down. Okay, red should be... Mm, okay, we're going to have a spread out. So A and B is definitely not going to be it. Okay. <clears throat> for the rest, you do get this kind of spreading where this will be what we see a rainbow color. Because the whole light will spread out like this and you'll see a whole spectrum. I'll show you a picture later, a sample picture. Okay, so these are what we call the rainbow regions where they have many wavelengths all spread out at different distance. Okay, so you have red, you have orange, yellow, you have a green. You have blue and blue. Okay, so this is what we see. Oh my goodness. This is the rainbow that you will see. Uh, we just we just draw a, a dot like that to represent that. Okay, so this is what you see over there. Okay, where were we? Alright, so red should be on the outermost. So that gives this one correctly. As you go closer to the middle, that should be purple here. So less spread out. Red color should be at the outside, which is more spread out. Okay, so best choice here we're going to go with is D. Although C and D is very close. Okay, so remember light spread out. 
Now, a full diagram of this, why are there so many uh, dots? Uh? It's something like this. Uh. Okay, so the central here is going to be white, as we see. Then the first order rainbow is actually a whole region of light. And in real life, it will look something like this. You know, uh, a, a bunch of rainbows. Middle will just be a white light. And if you go further, yeah, you will see a slightly more faded, another fringe and so on and so forth. Okay, so remember that's how diffraction gratings work. For any wavelength, visible range, you gotta know what the wavelengths are. Okay, so that's all for this question. See you in the next one.